Vice President Pence, Speaker Ryan, Governor Walker, the Senator, and the distinguished members of the camp cabinet, distinguished members of Congress, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the middle of the IPO revolution. High resolution AK display and a powerful 5G communication will great increase the growth of big data. With artificial intelligence, a new AK plus 5G ecosystem is born. AK display is a key for the future. For example, AK will enable new medical solution to limit blood lead loss in surgery, lessen pain in treatment, and then greatly reduce the cost of health care. Hongai Group, Fastcong, and then Sharp are committed to build in America this most advanced AK ecosystem manufacturing industry in the world. Why do it here? TV was invented in America. Yet, American does not have a single LCD fab to produce a complete AK system. We are going to change that. It starts today with this investment in Wisconsin. <laughs> Come on, Walker. I'd like to, <laughs> to thank you and the, your leadership teams. I also would well, like to thank you, Mr. Jerry, Jerry Kushner, the White House Office of American Innovation, for your hard work to make this investment a reality. Speaker Ryan, thank you for all your advice and support on Capitol Hill. Vice President Pence, we are not strangers. We have facility in your home state. <laughs> your support is very much appreciated. Mr. President, uh, I, we just met in, inside. We met <laughs> in, <laughs> we spent 10, 15 minutes talking. I met you three times. Each time, you have emphasized the importance of manufacturing in America and providing high skill jobs for American workers. I feel confident to say this is a win, win, win strategy. Mr. President, with you, the Vice President, the Speaker, and the government worker strongly supporting by American. We are confident that many American products will be a great success. I know you are committed to gross manufacture in, in the United States. Because of you, we are also committed to create great jobs for American people. Mr. President, the eagle flies. 
Thank you. Well, first off, thank you to the president for hosting us. You will be hearing from him in just a moment. Mr. Vice President, my good friend and former colleague uh, to the speaker, uh, my good friend and longtime neighbor, uh, to the legislative leaders here from Congress, who I'll mention in just a few moments, to our legislative leaders from the state, to all of you, and, uh, but particularly Terry, to you and your team. Uh, Lewis and Alan, it's good to see you guys here. Uh, spent a lot of time together with your great team, but uh, we're really appreciative and couldn't be more excited. And, and I gotta tell you, I, I personally wanna say, you know, Terry just gave a great uh, speech there, but, but Terry for us embodies not only in America, but in Wisconsin, we think about success story in terms of hard work, determination, building a company with just literally a few thousand dollars in 1974, starting out building the knobs. Remember the old knobs on uh, the black and white TV? Some of you are too young to remember this, but the uh, Gallagher, I'm thinking of you in particular, but, uh, uh, <laughs> but building, the, the, building those knobs and then getting an Atari contract to build a joystick. As a kid, I can still remember doing that and then going on the compact and now being one of the leaders in the world. And uh, we are absolutely thrilled to have you here today and to have your success story be a part of the American success story and particularly the success story here in the state, or coming to be in the state of Wisconsin. So Terry, thank you. <laughs> this is a great day for America. It is a great day for Wisconsin and it's a great day for Foxconn. Today, we're announcing the single largest economic development project in the history of the state of Wisconsin and one of the largest in the history of this country. In, in fact, we went back and verified this, so this will be the largest greenfield-based company investment from a foreign-based company in U.S. history as measured by jobs. So this is literally number one. So thank you, Terry. Foxcom in the state of Wisconsin tomorrow in our state will enter into a memorandum of understanding by which Foxcom will invest $10 million. Or excuse me, $10 billion, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to see Paul Ryan's keeping track of millions and billions. <laughs> Little different than Dirksen, back uh, our neighbor to the south. $10 billion. For a minute there, I thought I was on a, a TV show, yeah. right? Ten, ten, ten billion dollars, which will create 13,000 jobs in the state of Wisconsin. In turn, the state of Wisconsin, to fulfill that commitment, our partnership with Terry and the Foxconn team will invest $3 billion in economic incentives to make that partnership go forward. And these are exciting times. These 13,000 jobs have an average annual salary of over $53,000 plus benefits. In addition, I'm sure you can clap for that. In addition to the 13,000 jobs directly created by the Foxconn investment, the project is expected to create at least 22,000 indirect and induced jobs throughout the state of Wisconsin. Now Foxconn's manufacturing campus will be a combination of a variety of buildings in total, get this number, totaling 20 million square feet. Now think about that. That would be three times the size of the U.S. Pentagon or for those of us who are Packer fans, that's big enough to put 11 Lambeau Fields inside of that space. <laughs> Some 10,000 construction jobs will be needed to build that campus, so we're gonna need people from all across the state of Wisconsin and throughout the Midwest to help us out. Foxconn, as you heard Terry say, will build the first facility in the United States that will build LCD designed, or LCD panels for everything from the automotive business to uh, healthcare to entertainment and all industries combined, this is some of the most exciting technology in the world. 
going forward, I want all of you to know, but particularly the president to know, that these panels will be made in America proudly in the state of Wisconsin. Foxcom's new ecosystem will transform Wisconsin. In fact, Terry and I came up with a name. We call it Wiscon Valley. Wiscon. <laughs> Wiscon with two ends. Wiscon Valley will become, will be, in fact, the region we will call Wiscon Valley will become the new global home to cutting edge technology and innovation. Wisconsin Valley will help us attract top talent from across the country and around the world. W Wisconsin Valley will help us with one more tool to keep our college and high school graduates in the state of Wisconsin instead of going beyond our borders. This is exciting and transformational. <laughs> and in addition to thanking Terry and his great team from Foxcom and Sony and all the other great, and Sharp, excuse me, boy, I, I blew it again, I gotta pay attention to that, to Sharp uh, having seen their great facilities. I, I wanna particularly thank uh, the President of the United States because as Terry alluded to, the president, in late April, met with Terry and his team. The next day, uh, a number of our folks from Wisconsin gathered together in the office of the Chief of Staff, Reince Priebus, who's a fellow cheesehead, and we started this great journey together. We've had multiple uh, meetings. We've had great discussions. Jared and Reed and the rest of the team here at the White House did a fabulous job. Uh, we've been back and forth. The Fox Cop team has been all over the state of Wisconsin, worked with our regional local partners. It's been a great success story, and we made a great trip over to see Terry and his team. And when he talks about that 8K, it is phenomenal. It is some of the most amazing technology in the world, and we're proud to say it's gonna be made in this great state of Wisconsin. So together, we had a special bond built, and that started because the president said, we wanna build this kind of technology in the United States. It just so happened, it was kind of nice that about a week or so before his, the visit that Terry and the team made here to the White House, the president had been at Snap-on Tool in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and had said, as Reince was asking about what that spot was down there, uh, Reince filled him in, and he told Terry and the others it would be nice to build something like that right in that area in southeastern Wisconsin, so that's exactly what we're doing here today. We could not be more thrilled. It's been a tremendous effort, a tremendous team. I wanna thank two of my top cabinet members, Mark Hogan and Scott Neitzel, as well as my chief of staff, Rich Zipper, are here, and all that they represent in the state of Wisconsin. I want to thank our leaders in the legislature, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss and Senate President uh, Roger Roth, who are here, as well as thanking uh, Minority Leader Peter Barca, who's been a great advocate as th on this as well. And I particularly want to thank uh, the members of the congressional delegation from Wisconsin, starting with the dean of the delegation, Jim Sensenbrenner, Congressman Duffy, Congressman Gallagher, Congressman Grothman, Senator Baldwin, and Senator Johnson. They have been tenacious in working on this project with us for the good of everyone in the state, Republican and Democrat and everyone in between, we all win with this. And <laughs> and certainly a big part of that team is someone we're very proud of, someone who grew up down the road from me flipping burgers at McDonald's just like I did. He was just in Janesville and I was in Delavan. Uh, but the Speaker of the House of Representatives has been an advocate all the way through. He called Terry, he reached out to the team, he had dinner with us, he made the case about why this is exceptional to do business in the great state of Wisconsin. He's a champion for the people of the 1st Congressional District, he's a champion for the people of the great state of Wisconsin, he's a champion for the great people of this great country, my friend, the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan. Thank you. What can I say? This is a great day for American manufacturing. You know. And for southeastern Wisconsin, this is an absolute game changer. It means more jobs and more security and more prosperity for families. It is another example of how our region is truly a manufacturing powerhouse. It truly is. Look, I too want to take this opportunity to thank President Trump for his leadership. I remember the day when Reince called me after they were in Kenosha at Snap-on Tools. Scott just mentioned the story in seeing the space of some of our shuttered factories, talking about how the president was so focused on making sure not only we bring manufacturing jobs back to America, but that we bring manufacturing jobs back to Wisconsin. 
One thing we know about this president is how committed he is to reviving American manufacturing and bringing jobs home. This right here shows actual results, getting it done. Every time we talked about this, he was so engaged and so willing to get the work done to get it to where we are right here. I want to thank our quarterback of this effort. I want to thank our governor, Scott Walker. <laughs> governor Walker quarterbacked this effort. Under Governor Walker's leadership, we have seen Wisconsin manufacturing make a huge comeback, and this is the topper of all toppers. When he asked us to get involved in talking to Foxconn, I could not have been more excited. Chairman Goh and his team, they have been incredible throughout this entire process. Terry, I want to thank you for your commitment to the people of Wisconsin. Thank you. Your vision, Terry, for building high technology, high skilled manufacturing right in the heart of America, it is truly impressive. I cannot wait for Americans to see what this is all about. I cannot wait for Wisconsinites to see the true impressive vision that this represents. We cannot wait for this partnership to begin. And at this time, I want to introduce someone who is no stranger to the potential of Midwest manufacturing. And that is my old colleague as well, and great friend, and a great advocate for American workers. And that is my friend and our Vice President, Vice President Mike Pence. Well, Governor Walker, Speaker Ryan, Senator Johnson, Secretary Mnuchin, Secretary Ross, Chairman Go, members of Congress who join us today of the House and Senate, distinguished members of the state legislature in Wisconsin. On behalf of the first family, welcome to the White House. And thanks to the leadership of President Donald Trump, welcome to a historic day for American jobs in the American heartland. You know, since the very first day of this administration, President Trump has been busy rolling back federal red tape, unleashing American energy, working to lower taxes, rebuild our infrastructure, and give the American people the world-class health care they deserve. And job creators have responded to the president's agenda with optimism and action. Businesses large and small have created more than 800,000 new jobs since President Trump took office. Company after company are announcing record investments, billions of dollars and thousands of jobs, and today's announcement here at the White House is just the latest vote of confidence in our president and his agenda, and our partners at the state level. And companies from across this country and across the wider world are going to continue to invest in American jobs and American workers and America's future, because under President Donald Trump, America is back. So ladies and gentlemen, with gratitude for his leadership and his determination to make America prosperous again, it is now my high honor and distinct privilege to introduce to you the 45th President of the United States of America, President Donald Trump. Thank you very much. I want to thank our great Vice President. Thank you to Speaker Ryan. We're working very, very closely. We're getting a lot done. Governor Walker has been so tremendous from the first time we 
announced that Terry even had a small amount of interest in going into this country someplace. And, you know, when you give that to Governor Walker, it's pretty, pretty much of a done deal. <laughs> Ron Johnson, Senator, he's been so helpful to us on a thing that you haven't heard too much about recently, health care. And I think we're doing okay, Ron. I'm hearing good things. Good. I'm hearing good things. Secretary Mnuchin, Secretary Ross, all of the congressmen, the great congressmen, and senators we have in the audience, thank you very much. And thanks especially to my friend, one of the great business men anywhere in the world, Terry Go. I would see Terry, and I'd say, Terry, you have to give us a couple of those massive — these are massive — places that you do such great work with. And he's going to be doing that in a state that's very close to my heart, Wisconsin. So we're very happy. One of the big job producers anywhere at any time, Scott. So I know it's going to be fantastic for the people. This is a great day for American workers and manufacturing. And for everyone who believes in the concept and the label made in the USA. Today, I'm pleased to announce that Foxconn, a world leader in manufacturing for computers, communications, and consumer electronics, one of the truly great companies of the world, will build a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility for the production of LCD panel products in Wisconsin, investing many, many billions of dollars right here in America and creating thousands of jobs — and I mean American jobs. That's what we want. Another big investor in our country, Steve Wynn, would you stand up? He's raising so much money for our great Republican Party. Andrea, please stand up. Please, thank you. Thank you, Steve. You've done a great job. You've done a great job, Steve. Thank you. Foxconn will invest in southeast Wisconsin, while a larger facility is constructed over the coming years. And that facility is currently under negotiation. It will be about the biggest there is anywhere. The company's initial investment of more than $10 billion will create 3,000 jobs at a minimum, with the potential for up to 13,000 jobs in the very near future. The construction of this facility represents the return of LCD electronics and electronic manufacturing to the United States, the country that we love. That's where we want our jobs. To make such an incredible investment, Chairman Goh put his faith and confidence in the future of the American economy. In other words, if I didn't get elected, he definitely would not be spending $10 billion. <laughs> His great company has seen our — you know, the, you see exactly what I'm saying — our administration's work to remove job-killing regulations he's been watching, to institute Buy American and Hire American and all of those policies, and to pursue the steps necessary to revitalize American industry, including repealing and replacing Obamacare. We better get that done, fellas, please. Mike. We need that so badly. Cutting taxes, fixing our trade deals, and rebuilding 
our infrastructure. We'll be submitting an infrastructure bill in the not very distant future. We're going to be submitting a tax bill in the very near future. When this investment is complete, Foxconn has the potential to create more manufacturing jobs than we've seen in many, many decades. Chairman Go, I thank you for your investment in the American worker. They appreciate it. They will not let you down. They never let us down. There is nobody like the American worker. Terry Goh told me that he believes in America, and he really believes in America. And that as a great entrepreneur, one of the greatest in the world, by the way, he won't say it, but I'll say it, one of the great entrepreneurs of the world, he has a real bond with the administration and with Americans. Foxconn joins a growing list of industry leaders who understand that America's capabilities are limitless and that America's workers are unmatched and that America's most prosperous days are just ahead. We are going to have some very, very magnificent decades. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Terry, and thank you to Foxconn. God bless the United States of America. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.